Hello friends, this is Manoj Goel from the Wall Street School. In the past decade, we have helped thousands of candidates clear their CF exam and we have also trained them in the field of investment banking to help build their career in the field of core finance. Friends, because of our past experience, many aspirational students reach out to us inquiring about investment foundation program offered by the CFA Institute. And for them, we have created this video to explain what actually investment foundation program is, who should go for this program, what's the syllabus and course content. So if you are interested in knowing all this, please make sure to watch this video till end. Let's get started. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you are fit, fine and safe. In today's video, I'll be talking about investment foundation program offered by CFA Institute. I'll be sharing details about this program. Then I'll be talking about who are the candidates who should ideally go for this program, like whether your profile suits this program or not. Then I'll be talking about the syllabus covered under this program. And then I'll be sharing exam details like the mode of exam. Is there any fee payable to appear for the exams? How many times you can appear for these exams, right? So let us start. Before I tell you about investment foundation program, let me address one very repetitive query of students. Can they trust this program? Can they trust the credibility and legibility of this program? The answer is 100% yes. This program is not being offered by any random institute. This is being offered by CFA Institute itself. The institute that is known for its level of quality of education, standards they follow, the ethics they follow. So you can 100% trust the credibility and legibility of this certification. Now let's talk about this program. First of all, let me tell you this program is 100% free now. Few years back, it was chargeable around $250, but now it is 100% free. It is fully online and anyone without any restriction can go and appear, can go and register for this program, right? You do not have to pay any fees to anyone. Then please note this point. This is not very advanced program. This is just an introductory program to investment industry. You learn many details about this industry, but please do not consider yourself as pro or professional after getting this certification. This is just a stepping stone, right? Now, the third point about this program is that this program is not designed to make you earn high paying jobs like investment banking or equity research. You do not expect to land up job just on the basis of this certification. Though this is very credible, very legible, but still, especially in India, the scenario which we have, in which we have thousands of unemployed graduates, postgraduates, chartered accountants to some extent, some, some candidates who have done higher level of education, still they are not getting employment because of the current COVID situation. Therefore, please do not expect to get any high paying job from this, uh, this uh, certification. This is just to introduce you to this investment industry, right? Now let's talk about who should do it. So we have identified four categories of persons who should go for this course. The first one are the students, the students who have recently completed their 12th standard and have developed interest in financial markets. This could be because of Dogecoin or Bitcoins or their father or uncle discussing about stocks going up, going down, whatever. And you could have completed your 12th from any standard, whether it's science, arts, commerce, anything. You should go for this course if you are really interested in financial markets. Secondly, the candidates who know that they will be registering for CFA after when they are eligible, basically. So in the first year of their graduation, they can complete this program. It will not take lot of um, lots of efforts as well as lots of time to complete this certification and you will have a very good understanding of this industry, right? Thirdly, anyone, whether a student or a working professional who is planning to register for CFA, but, it, but, it, but that person is not very sure. CFA is a very expensive course, right? And a very long term commitment at least 1.5 to 2 years to clear the CFA all three levels if you are able to clear in one go. At the same time, you have to shell out around 2 lakh, 2.5 lakh rupees. 
to appear for all the level so it is a very expensive course and it's a very lengthy commitment and if you're not very sure whether you should go for cfa or not take this as a introduction to cfa so please go and register for this course before spending your hard-earned money for anything right and the last one is anyone who wants to know this industry better they are eligible to register so this is the category in which most of us fall who are not aware of this industry investment industry financial markets right now let us talk about the syllabus in total there are seven modules seven books and 20 chapters this is the syllabus the first module is a very basic one they'll give you details about investment industry from the broader view all the way to uh, uh, bottom level ethics is something that institute is very concerned about in this industry you're dealing with money of someone else you cannot be unethical otherwise your whole career is gone so ethics is something that is very important then you will be learning about the tools that you need to know to understand or analyze a particular investment decision so macroeconomics microeconomics financial concepts quantitative concepts economics of international trade then investment instruments then like what are the instruments you can invest in so debt securities equity securities derivatives and alternative investments like real estate commodities gold etc the industry structure then the client needs and then industry control basically risk management and performance evaluation risk management is integral part of investment management it is never about the returns you generate it is always about the risk adjusted returns you generate right you have to learn basics about risk management how do you evaluate your performance the market have given x return have you given x plus alpha returns you have to understand how to evaluate your performance and then investment industry documentation how do you document the entire process right this is broadly the syllabus now let us talk about the exams first of all the obvious point is anyone can take up this exam no eligibility requirement is there for this program i have just told you few minutes back secondly you can take this exam throughout the year so there is no specific time in which you need to register to appear for exams the third point which is very important you have 180 days from the date of registration to pass this exam let me tell you suppose you register on 1st january 2021 180 days would be tentatively around 30th june 2021 so for next 30 days so from 1st january till 30th january 21 you are not allowed to give exams, right? After 30th January, you are allowed to give exam within this period. How many times you can give exam within this period? Two times. One registration, you can like you can appear for exam after registration. If you're not able to clear it, you can again appear for this exam. But you cannot appear for more than two times within a period of this 180 days, right? But before appearing for your final exams, what you need to do is you need to score at least 70% marks in mock exam A and mock exam B. So to unlock your final exams, you will be giving two mock exams first, scoring at least 70% marks in that. And then you can appear for final exams, right? And the final exams, I've already told you, each registration allows you to attempt. You can repeat the exams without re-registration within this period of 180 days and you can register twice in 12 months suppose you registered on first Jan uh, first of january you're not able to clear exams because of some reasons and two attempts then you can re-register on first july 21 and then till 31st december 21 you can again give exams two times again you'll have to wait 30 days before appearing for the next attempt right this is all about exams now let us talk about the exam weightage we discussed there were seven modules so module three four five and seven basically your input output tools your investment instruments industry structure and industry the risk management module these modules accounts for 80 percent of the marks and remaining three modules only accounts for 20 percent 
that is your module 6 module 2 and module 1 so i don't need to tell you which are the modules you should be focusing on right so that's it about cfa investment foundation program if in case you have any queries related to this program feel free to reach us at the wallstreetschool.com or in the comment section below we are very active at both the places thank you